Hi, my name is Ben. My name is Aaron. And today we're going to be talking about cool season Kentucky bluegrass and warm season carpet grass. Kentucky bluegrass is a very versatile turf grass that can be used in many applications from the average homeowner's lawn to the high appearance lawns outside of country clubs and businesses. Uh, it's generally found throughout the Midwest and it's known as the Cadillac of turf grass. Warm season carpet grass is going to be found in the southern states like Florida, Georgia. Um, you're going to use it as a utility turf like on side of the roadsides. Um, and it can't be used as an ornamental because of the seeds heads. Um, you have to cut it off a lot. It's going to require a lot of mowing. The first thing that comes to mind when one thinks of turf grass is mowing the lawn. And that's one of the most important things that the homeowner will have to consider when they choose what type of turf grass to put on their lawn. Kentucky bluegrass is a slow establisher, but once it is established, it is a moderate grower and it will usually be required to mow at least once a week, but in most situations, not more often than that. All right, so unlike the Kentucky bluegrass, the carpet grass is going to grow a little bit more aggressively. And with the tall seed heads that you're going to have, you're going to have to mow it more frequently, more like two or three times a week. Mowing the carpet grass, you're going to want to use a rotary mower because of the rigid leaves. Uh, it's not going to be on road size because the tall seed heads make it hard to see around the corners. Next thing we're going to be talking about is watering practices and irrigation. Uh, Kentucky bluegrass is normally a pretty hardy plant and if it is grown in the correct region, it uh, normally does not require extra irrigation unless it's uh, cut very short or it's in uh, very drought prone situations. Because the carpet grass is a warm season grass, it's very drought tolerant. It's not going to need a lot of extra watering. You'd be fine leaving it as is. The next thing we're going to be talking about is fertilizing your lawn and what practices, how frequently, and what type of fertilizer is best for what type of lawn. Kentucky bluegrass is also known as Cadillac of grass, is known as a Cadillac of grass because it does not need very many inputs. And along the lines of fertilizer, the only thing that it really requires is two to three pounds of nitrogen per year. Other than that, it's pretty good on its own and you don't need to do much else to it, otherwise you risk over fertilizing it and actually harming the grass. Carpet grass doesn't really like a lot of fertilizers. Uh, if you are going to fertilize it, uh, do it in the spring after the plant has greened up. And especially don't use lime fertilizer because um, the carpet grass likes the acidic soils. Next we're going to talk about diseases and how to treat those with ready and turf grass. Uh, Kentucky bluegrass is normally a pretty hardy grass, but it is susceptible to ground patch and snow mold. Uh, and another thing that you see with Kentucky bluegrass is it's very susceptible to weeds coming in such as dandelions. Uh, one of the most common practices to get rid of these weeds is the application of 2,4-D, uh, but most of the time that's not done by the homeowner, and that's normally done by turf grass professionals. Turf grass should not have to deal with many diseases. The one that you will have to deal with is the uh, brown patch, um, the, but because of the fact that it is a utility turf, uh, you're not going to be too worried about it, and also the carpet grasses um, will recover from it by themselves. thing we're going to talk to you about today is wear patterns on the grass and how well it recovers. Uh, Kentucky bluegrass uh, doesn't really wear that well, especially when it's used like on football stadiums and such, but unlike the establishment rate, it is very fast to recover, so it normally is used for some uh, utility field applications and such. Carpet grass, it will tolerate some wear, um, but unlike the Kentucky bluegrass, it will not cover as quickly. Once again, my name's Ben. My name's Aaron. And thank you for joining us today as we talk about Kentucky bluegrass. And carpet grass. Have a great day.